The other records didn't really sit too well with me, but this record is definitely really, really good. All right, everyone, Curtis from The Pitch Control here, and today I'm just gonna do a little bit of a record update for you guys. It's been far too long since I've done one of these. I thought it was about time I'd done one, really. They are new records. Some of them are old, some of them are new. Some of them are really, really special and something that I've wanted for a long, long time. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I enjoyed buying them. The first one I got is Block Party, and this is their 10 year anniversary for this record. I don't know if you guys knew that this was coming out. I definitely didn't know it was coming out. I didn't even know it was 10 years since these guys have released this record. That's insane. I don't really like their other records compared to this one. This one is really, really good stuff. And I used to listen to it a lot. I remember seeing it for the first time when I was around my mate's house and he put it on TV. And that video for Banquet, I think it was, came on TV and I really, really loved it. It comes with an extra seven inch inside, which I thought was really, really nice. It just came on black, nothing too special. I don't know if they did any color versions of this for the 10 year anniversary. It's a lovely record to own and I'm really, really happy I got it. Definitely gonna be listening to it a lot. As soon as I bought it, it reminded me of this band quite a lot and I started listening to them on Spotify and stuff as well. So definitely got me back into this band. The little seven inch that comes with it is a little bit of a special surprise for the 10 year anniversary. And yeah, I'm really, really happy I got it. The reason I love this band is because they're sort of like a childhood band, really. Definitely sort of like a, a memory band, if you want to say it like that. <laughs> the next record I got for you guys is a band that Caroline and I saw in Berlin. I never knew of them before we saw them and we just sort of turned up to a gig. We were not really expecting anything too special. This band played and they were absolutely incredible. I say they, it was just one person on stage. This is Jessica93. If you guys don't know who Jessica93 are, it's a one man act from France. It's very, very layered. Normally he plays a guitar and he just layers the riffs over and over again. It's very discordant and very, very heavy. The first record they released was this one and it's a bit more down tuned, a little bit more doomy. And the reason I love it is because it's very DIY. It sounds like he's sort of just gone into a room and just laid it with a, a loop machine, you know, like a loop pedal or something. This is definitely my favorite record by him because it's a lot more raw than their other records. The other records didn't really sit too well with me, but this record is definitely really, really good. If you guys ever get the chance to go and see him, you should take up that chance because it's really interesting to watch live. Next record is something I've been looking for for a very, very long time. And since I heard this for the first time, it's been something on my list that I really, really want to own in my vinyl collection. This is Red House Painters. This is definitely a repress, obviously, but I did ask at the shop a very long time ago if they're gonna be getting this in, and he said yes. And I actually saw him before I went into the shop and he said that he had got something for me, so I knew it was this record. It's a really, really lovely record. Comes with two 12 inches and also it's printed. So on every single 12 inch dust sheet, it's got a really, really nice artwork. Got some of my favorite songs by Red House Painters on there. And yeah, I just generally love this record. Really, really beautiful artwork, really melancholic, very, very sad and dreary, but I'm into that sort of stuff. And I love Sun Kill Moon, so going back through the discography of what he's done in the past is definitely something that I wanna be doing. Yeah, Red House Painters, I'm really, really happy I got that. Definitely a beautiful record. I don't really listen to any of their other records apart from this. I'm really excited to own the Sun Kill Moon Jaysu record as well. I'm really looking forward to buying that. So the next record I got is very, very new and it's also a record that I've been really looking forward to owning. This is a bath. Such a beautiful record. It's very nice, sort of like matte printed on the front there. And in the middle, you've got pictures of the three members. It does say that they got four members. I don't know why they haven't got the fourth member on there. Uh, someone can comment below and let me know why. But yeah, I'm obviously into Immortal, love all of their discography, love all of their stuff. So it was very cool to know that Abaf was carrying on even though he got kicked out of the band. And yeah, just carrying on with that sort of traditional black metal sound. I guess this one's a little bit more metally sounding. Got a beautiful little poster in there as well. Aesthetically very beautiful and musically quite good. I'm not into it as much as Immortal, but it's definitely nice to hear Abaf going on a different sort of musical direction, going a little bit more battle metal and just a lot more metal sounding really all together. And the next record is something that I never thought I would own. This is the Giles Corey box set. For anyone that doesn't know Giles Corey, it's the lead singer of Have A Nice Life. If you listen to Have A Nice Life, you know that it's very DIY and very dreary and very sad and just melancholic. So when I knew that he was coming out with his own personal stuff and sort of taking his own different route down different styles, I was very interested. 
If you think Have a Nice Life is sad, you should check out Giles Corey because this is just the most dark and sad stuff I've ever heard. Really, really amazing acoustic record. It comes with this beautiful book inside, just tells the story of depression and wanting to kill yourself. It's absolutely incredible. It just takes you on this journey of doom and darkness. The lyrics, the vocals, everything in this record just encompasses everything I want to hear from a band. It's very DIY, it's very true and honest and the artwork and the effort that have gone into this is just something that I am definitely, definitely gonna be giving my money towards. I just feel like it's worth it. The music and the artwork just come together so well and I'm definitely happy to pay a lot of money for this because it's something I've been looking out for for a very long time. That was all my records, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just a really quick one. I'm gonna be doing it in two parts because there are a lot more records that I bought recently, but I didn't want to sort of clog up one video and just you know keep it too sludgy or whatever. Keep it nice and clean and short. I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you next time. Cheers.